Being the largest and the most diverse continent on the planet and home to some of the oldest known civilizations, Asia is sure to hide some of the most chilling discoveries ever made. Many of these discoveries tell some dark and twisted tales of the past. From a lake full of skeletons to evidence of oldest known limb amputations, there is something for everyone. You will find diverse kinds of mummies and even alien-like skulls as we take you on this amazing journey with these 15 terrifying new discoveries that will change everything you know about ancient Asia. Number 15. Lake of Skeletons Rup Kund Lake is a site filled with mystery and history, high in the Indian Himalayas, hidden amidst the icy embrace of Trisul, one of India's highest peaks. This secluded lake, perched at an altitude of 5,000 meters above sea level, hides a strange secret. Rup Kund Lake's mystery was revealed only when the snow melted, revealing a terrible sight. Hundreds of human skeletons scattered beneath the ice. These skeletal remains have perplexed academics, posing issues that have long remained unanswered. The lake's ominous reputation began in 1942 when a British forest ranger discovered this terrifying sight. The lake stretches and contracts according to the season and weather, yet its freezing depths protect these ancient remains, sometimes preserving flesh and features in incredible detail. The number of hypotheses about the identities of the skeletons has grown throughout time. According to some theories, they belong to an Indian king, his entourage, or Indian troops who died in Tibet. Others speculate that it could be a burial site for victims of a catastrophic disease, in a local traditional ballad, the goddess Nanda Devi summons a hailstorm that wreaks havoc on travelers traveling by the lake. Previously, investigations suggested that these remains belong to a single group that died in a 9th century disaster. A new five-year study, however, demolished these beliefs. Genetic testing and carbon dating revealed a diverse group of people whose deaths were separated by up to 1,000 years. Even more intriguing, the genomics investigation revealed an unusual twist. The deceased were genetically linked to both South Asia and Europe, specifically Crete. This discovery begs the question of how these disparate people ended themselves at this distant lake. While the mystery continues, one theory suggests that a mass death during a pilgrimage event could explain some of the bodies discovered here. The journey from the eastern Mediterranean to this distant Indian lake, however, remains a mystery. Rupkund Lake continues to challenge our knowledge of history and human migrations, demonstrating how new findings in Asia can alter our ideas of the past. Number 14. Water Demon Bones A slippery water creature known as the Kappa caught the imaginations of generations in the mystical world of Japanese folklore. These creatures, which resemble a strange cross between a human and a reptile, with scaly, green-blue skin and webbed feet, have long haunted stories of ponds and rivers, either as amusing tricksters or as malicious demons. While such monsters are mentioned in many civilizations, the Kappa has a special position in Japanese folklore. Like the Loch Ness Monster or the Scottish Kelpie, parents have used stories about these monsters to scare their children away from the perils of water. What if these exotic creatures were more than simply stories? That's the tantalizing possibility arising in Miyakonojo, Japan, where remnants allegedly belonging to the legendary Kappa were shown. These bones, discovered in 1818 after a Kappa was purportedly shot on a riverbank, have remained a mystery. The foot is only three inches long and the arm is only five inches long, but its origins are unknown. Skeptics believe the mythology is based on the presence of the Japanese giant salamander, a real and fearsome species with enormous jaws capable of grasping prey. Despite the lack of scientific evidence, the kappa's fascination remains. Some lakes in Japan even have warning signs indicating their presence, demonstrating the continued interest. While the bones themselves have not been studied, their very existence has reignited the debate about the kappa. Are these the relics of a mythological water demon, or do they hint at something deeper? No one can truly answer this question. Number 13. The Mound of Dead A significant discovery was concealed behind the mounds near Dokri, in Pakistan's Sindh province. Rakhaldas Banerjee, director of the Western Archaeological District, set out in 1914 on a quest to uncover the secrets hidden behind these inconspicuous mounds. Those who dared to climb them were said to turn blue, 
generating an awful gloom that surrounded the location. Years passed, and the mystery surrounding these mounds intensified. Banerjee's perseverance paid off when he was granted permission to explore the mounds, resulting in the discovery of a treasure trove of jewelry, pottery, and square seals with cryptic writing and engravings. Large-scale excavations led by Sir John Marshall soon verified the presence of Mohenjo-Daro, which translates as Mound of the Dead Men. This long buried and forgotten city rose to prominence as the crown gem of the Indus Valley civilization, dating back to 3000 BC and prospering for nearly a millennium. Mohenjo-Daro had exceptional urban design, with brick houses equipped with bathrooms and a sophisticated sewage system. Its great bath, perched atop the citadel, was equipped with a hot air heating system, demonstrating a sophisticated understanding of engineering. Over 40,000 artifacts, including the famous bronze statue of a dancing girl and exquisitely carved clay urns, revealed the lives of the Mohenjo-Darans. However, Mohenjo-Daro also has a sinister mystery, personified by the 44. Skeletal remains discovered in contorted positions among rubble and debris ignited a dispute about whether they were victims of violence or died naturally. The dominant notion proposed an Indo-Aryan invasion massacre. The demise still remains a haunting mystery. Number 12. The Golden Bowl. A horrific historical story unfolds beneath the dunes of Hassan Lu, an ancient Iron Age metropolis in modern-day Iran. Three heroic soldiers descended into a building, their emotions spurred by urgency, clutching riches of incredible value. A magnificent golden bowl decorated with pictures of gods and rites shined like a beacon of antiquity among their valued things. Their goal to protect their city's treasures was thwarted by the harsh hand of fate. As they began their trek up a wooden staircase, the entire structure caved in, burying them and their valuable artifacts beneath piles of rubble. They remained there, entombed in tragedy, their truths hidden until a remarkable discovery in 1958. The world stared in astonishment at the crumpled yet gleaming golden bowl, its images carved with stories from the past. Despite the artifact's magnificence, the warriors' identities and stories remained a mystery. Recent investigations have revealed a more sinister story. A paper by archaeologist Michael Dante portrays a bleak picture. The history of the Golden Bowl is one of agony and bloodshed rather than pride. Hassanlu, Iran, is an archaeological miracle, preserving a frozen layer of its past, a burn layer from the late 9th century BC. Over 200 preserved bodies provided testament to a horrific surprise attack that obliterated the castle beneath ash and rubble. The majority of the victims were women, children, and the elderly, implying that they were considered useless as slaves. The assailants showed no mercy, chopping heads and hands and leaving a trail of horror in their wake. Despite the horrors that have been revealed, little is known about Hassanlu's inhabitants and their attackers. Their names, affiliations, and origins are obscured by a dearth of written records. The ornamental designs on the Golden Bowl provide glimpses into religious or mythical ideas, but much remains unknown. According to Dante's research published in the journal Antiquity, the soldiers were Urartian invaders. During the Iron Age, historical writings reveal Urartu's expansionist military actions, which coincide with Hassanlu's tragic fate. Number 11. The Fairy World a portal to an alluring world, the fairy world of ancient times, is hidden beneath the old soil of China's Sichuan region. Recent excavations at the Sanxingdui archaeological site have revealed the treasure of amazing Bronze Age artifacts, reflecting Chinese civilization's vibrant diversity. A bronze sculpture of a serpent with a human head, gold masks, jade-filled bronze boxes, and an exquisite bronze altar are among the discoveries. These elaborate sculptures transport us to an era that flourished between 4,500 and 3,000 years ago, providing a look into the fantasy world envisioned by humans at the time. Archaeologists first discovered two pits in the 1980s, but their interest has led to the discovery of six more since 2020. These excavations have revealed an astonishing 13,000 artifacts that tell the story of a mysterious culture. While certain artifacts show traces of deliberate breakage and burning, they were not destroyed on the spur of the moment. Their goal appears to have been sanctified passage or communication with an otherworldly dimension. 
The scarcity and importance of bronze indicate that these rites, which involved the sacrifice of precious valuables, were significant. According to Chen Shen, a senior curator, these trenches were not used for burial but rather for ritualistic purposes. Archaeology researcher Rowan Flad agrees, proposing that these acts of ritualized destruction signified a public act of dismantling wealth, may be supervised by spiritual or political leaders. The fairy world of San Xingdui may have faded into history, but these newly unearthed artifacts have brought its enthralling tales to life, altering our understanding of ancient China and its fascinating rites. Number 10. Alien Skull Archaeologists have discovered a mystery that defies explanation in the world of ancient Korea's Silla culture, an intriguing alien-like cranium that challenges our understanding of the past. This astonishing discovery was unearthed in a woman's grave near Gyeongju, which was formerly the capital of the ancient Silla kingdom. While the woman lay in a typical wooden coffin, her skull revealed an unsettling sight. Despite the difficulties of painstakingly rebuilding her fractured skull, the researchers quickly discovered that it had an exceptionally elongated shape. In fact, her head width was less than 75% of its length, a notable deviation from normal East Asian or Korean traits. To solve the mystery of this elongated skull, the scientific team thoroughly studied it for any signs of deliberate cranial deformation, a practice of head flattening that has been practiced for millennia in many societies throughout the world. The skull, on the other hand, showed none of the typical modifications seen in purposely distorted crania. Instead of flattening the front bones, it preserved its distinctive long-headedness. This discovery is similar to other remarkable cases, such as the Peruvian Paraca skulls, which challenge traditional explanations for cranial deformation. While some ideas point to medical disorders such as Sensenbrenner syndrome, or even the potential of a partial extraterrestrial origin, further research is needed before any definitive conclusions can be drawn. The story of this strange skull in Korea tests our understanding of ancient human diversity and raises questions about the secrets that still lie beneath the sands of time. Number 9. The Couple's Skeleton Archaeologists discovered the ghostly bones of a man and a woman intertwined in an intimate embrace in a cemetery near a bustling Harapan settlement dating back to 4,500 years ago. Their close proximity showed they were a couple, and they died at the same time, a spine-chilling mystery that haunts the specialists. These skeletons, each roughly 5.6 to 5.8 feet tall and discovered in what is now Rakigari village in India, showed no evidence of damage or disease. Their simultaneous burial contradicted typical burial norms of the time. The surrounding tomb offerings, which included earthen pots and semi-precious stone bead jewelry, were typical of the Bronze Age Harappan civilization which contrasted sharply with the grandeur of royal funerals elsewhere. These discoveries raise issues about the couple's dying moments in a society that believed in life after death. Among the 2,000 Harappan sites unearthed in India and Pakistan, this Harappan city, extending over 1,200 acres, housed tens of thousands, surpassing even Mohenjo-daro in size. Despite prior findings of a shared burial, the mystery couple remains a disturbing discovery, their destiny perpetually veiled in ancient darkness. Number 8. Mysterious Carving and Human Sacrifice A discovery beyond conception has been made deep in the dust-blown hills of China's lowest plateau, where villagers once mistook decaying walls for portions of the Great Wall. These stones, formerly thought to be nothing more than a border barrier, revealed an unexpected secret Jade, a substance unknown in this region, began to emerge among the ruins. It suggested that something amazing lay beneath the surface. Chinese archaeologists launched an investigation, and the results were nothing short of astounding. These stones were not part of the Great Wall, but rather the remains of Shimao, a splendid garrison city. It was six miles long, with protective walls encircling a 230-foot-high pyramid, an inner sanctum filled with painted murals, and an unnerving testimony of human sacrifice. The antiquity of this discovery makes it even more amazing. Carbon analysis suggests that parts of Shimao date back 4,300 years, over 2,000 years before the first segment of the Great Wall. Shimao flourished for about half a millennium, from around 2300 BC until 1800 BC, before disappearing without a trace. 
This ancient metropolis defies the accepted story of the origins of Chinese civilization, increasing our understanding of its geographical roots and contacts with other cultures. Shimao, formerly thought to be isolated, was a center of interchange, importing jade and other items from faraway trading partners, as well as instruments such as the mouth reed that would spread over the world. Shimao's strong and inventive walls shielded its inhabitants from perpetual peril, embodying a civilization formed by centuries of conflict. These walls were not only huge but also cleverly built, with advanced defensive elements that were later replicated in Chinese cities throughout history. Among this archaeological miracle, however, comes a sobering revelation, a ceremonial underpinning of human sacrifice. Eighty skulls, largely of young girls, were discovered beneath the city's eastern wall, a foreshadowing of following dynasties' heinous practices. Shimao's mystery remains mainly unexplained. Still, the tale of the city is unfolding, revealing a complex and interwoven community that defies traditional borders. Shimao's eventual abandonment is thought to have been influenced by climate change, as a once favorable environment became dry and severe. Lakes dried up, woods disappeared, and deserts encroached, forcing its people to relocate and leaving an amazing legacy that challenges our understanding of ancient China. Number 7. Longyu Caves The Longyu Caverns are a mysterious riddle hidden in the village of Xi'an Beikun in China's Zhejiang province. For millennia, these subterranean wonders remained hidden, emerging from the depths of myth and legend. One local inhabitant was intrigued by local legends of allegedly bottomless ponds in the area. Determined to put the legend to the test, he and his community embarked on a daring experiment involving a giant hydraulic pump. After 17 days of non-stop pumping, they discovered a breathtaking secret, massive hand-dug caves beneath the village's ponds, adding to the appearance of bottomlessness. These mysterious tunnels, known as the Longyu Caves, were discovered in 1992 and spanned an astounding 30,000 square meters with 36 grottos. Their origin remains a mystery despite being an amazing accomplishment of ancient excavation. These subterranean regions are exquisite hand-carved caverns that plunge around 30 meters into solid siltstone. Separate rooms, bridges, ponds, gutters, and intricately carved walls covered with enigmatic carvings can be found within their depths. The ceilings are skillfully supported by pillars strategically positioned throughout the caves. Surprisingly, the walls have chisel marks cut in parallel lines, indicating that these vast caves were painstakingly built by an unknown culture. The removal of one million cubic meters of rock, a task that required an estimated 1,000 laborers working continuously for six years, provides a glimpse inside the massive undertaking. Despite its scale, this endeavor remains unreported and no tools have ever been retrieved from the site. The consistent parallel chisel marks that cover every wall are another perplexing characteristic of their construction. When more efficient instruments like picks were widely available, this careful technique of excavation begs explanation. Furthermore, considering the ancient Chinese culture of writing, the lack of documented evidence regarding the cave's purpose and construction processes is surprising. Unlike naturally occurring caverns in the vicinity, when drained of water, these man-made wonders revealed no indications of life or fish. Engineers are also amazed at how these caves have stayed remarkably intact over millennia. Despite their thin walls and location in an earthquake-prone area, the caves exhibit no signs of damage, rubble, or structural instability. Their pristine preservation is beyond description. Number 6. The Ancient Amputation An ancient surgeon, armed with pointed stones, severed the lower left leg of a juvenile hunter-gatherer. This amazing find altered our understanding of prehistoric medicine and culture. The skeleton discovered in a remote area of Indonesian Borneo has an intriguing narrative. Despite the enormous difficulties of such an operation in ancient times, this young patient not only lived but thrived. The bones exhibit significant traces of development, indicating that the amputation was done years ago. This shows that the patient received significant communal care during rehabilitation, demonstrating the early human's compassion and sophistication. What's more, this surgery predates the next oldest known amputation by a stunning 24,000 years. This discovery calls into question 
the widely held notion that advanced medical knowledge developed with settled communities around 12,000 years ago. It implies that even hunter-gatherer societies in Southeast Asia had extensive medical knowledge. But how did they pull off this surgical feat? Sharp-edged stones, common at the time, were most likely utilized by the ancient surgeon to gently slice through bone, muscles, veins, and nerves. The fact that the patient did not die from blood loss or shock is a credit to their mastery of anatomy. The fact that this person survived demonstrates not only superior medical knowledge, but also a grasp of antiseptic and antibacterial practices for infection prevention. It's possible that the rainforest's rich variety supplied therapeutic plants that aided in recuperation. The discovery of an ancient amputation in Asia is changing the course of history. It demonstrates that significant medical knowledge existed much earlier than previously thought, calling our understanding of prehistoric cultures and their capacities into question. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Here's an image of a strange chest discovered somewhere in Asia at the bottom of a river. The heavy trunk is engraved with ancient markings, showing tales of the past. But why was it found at the bottom of a river sealed shut? What secrets did somebody want to hide? Could it be a precious treasure hidden away and long forgotten? Or could it hide a dark secret that better remain sealed shut? What do you believe could be found on opening this rare find? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Terra Mummies Archaeologists have been fascinated by the Tarim Basin mummies for decades, which are naturally mummified remains dating from 2000 BCE to roughly 200 CE. These mummies are unlike any others, not just because of their amazing preservation, but also because of their lavish clothes and unusual burial practices, such as being placed to rest in boat coffins amidst huge desert sands far from any sea. Various explanations regarding the genesis of these ancient mysteries have emerged. Some suspected they were from the Black Sea region, while others suspected they were from the Iranian plateau. These preconceptions, however, have been broken by revolutionary genomic research. An international team of academics has examined the genomes of some of the Tarim Basin's earliest mummies. The scientific community was startled by the findings. Contrary to popular assumption, these mummies were direct ancestors of the ancient North Eurasians, an ancient population that existed throughout the Pleistocene epoch. Their legacy can still be found in the genomes of some modern populations, such as indigenous peoples in Siberia and the Americas. These discoveries are nothing short of astounding. With their intact genetic inheritance, the Tarim Basin mummies demonstrate that they were an isolated population. Despite the fact that they did not mix with neighboring populations, they had a great global culture. They dressed in finely woven garments, decked themselves with beads and jewelry, and ate a wide variety of cuisines. These discoveries call into question our picture of Bronze Age contacts, trade, and cultural exchange. The mummy's diet, which includes East Asian millet and Central Asian medicinal plants, suggests a remarkable cross-cultural interchange, even among genetically isolated people. Number 4. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe is a mysterious place in Turkey, near the Syrian border and far from human civilization. This ancient complex, which dates back more than twice as far as the pyramids and Stonehenge, features at least 20 huge stone circles. Archaeologists discovered a strange configuration within these circles, T-shaped pillars facing each other, some up to 16 feet tall, supporting timber platforms. But what did these platforms serve? The key to comprehending Gobekli Tepe is corpse recycling. Vultures and other predatory birds dined on the center platforms in a gruesome fashion. The ancients thought that these birds transported the deceased's flesh to the skies. Mourners would sit on low stone benches covered by timber lintels around the inside walls of the pits. These L-shaped pillars, which resembled quasi-human forms, served as guardians, blurring the distinction between ancestors and deities. Consider a Neolithic funeral at Gobekli Tepe, with mourners descending stone steps and the corpse seated in the position of honor, surrounded by gazelle flesh and bread but refusing to eat. These ceremonies may have included ritual cannibalism, with bowls used to extract the deceased's vital essence. But why go through all of this trouble? The explanation could be related to Parsi Zoroastrian practices and possibly ancient North American Indian traditions. 
Bodies placed on these platforms disintegrated and fell back into the abyss. Following the departure of the mourners, carnivorous animals kept in an outer corridor entered, completing nature's recycling process. The similarities between Gobekli Tepe and Parsi Dakma towers are unusual. Hilltop sites, concentric rings, center pits, and vultures and animals. This shows that Gobekli Tepe was used to dispose of dead in a sanitary and environmentally beneficial manner for a large territory. This complex, however, goes considerably deeper, with links to ancient beliefs in reincarnation. Humans believed their spirits would convert into the monsters that devoured their bodies, which is why humans with animal heads are depicted in numerous old traditions. Number 3. Homo floresiensis a groundbreaking discovery was uncovered on the Indonesian island of Flores beneath the sun-kissed skies. In 2003, archaeologist Thomas Sutikna obtained information that irrevocably transformed his concept of human history. A colleague's shovel had struck something amazing in the Liang Bua cave, buried beneath six meters of dirt, a small skull resembling a grapefruit. Sutikna's fever subsided as he and his company set out on an adventure into the unknown. As leg bones, hand bones, tibia, and femur appeared delicately joined in the high-ceilinged cave, excitement rose. Because these fragile remains couldn't be retrieved quickly, Sutikna's crew fortified the bones with an unusual mixture of acetone nail polish remover and adhesive before carrying them back to their hotel. The initial impression was that this tiny skull belonged to a child, but as it was cleaned, adult molar teeth were exposed, which was baffling yet exciting. Homo floresiensis was a completely new species of human. It defied our ideas about human evolution, standing a little over a meter tall and weighing roughly 66 pounds. We're still unraveling the riddles of this fascinating find after 20 years. Some suggested that it was a modern human with a development issue, starting a heated argument that would be resolved with time. Was Homo floresiensis a shrunken descendant of Homo erectus that evolved through time to adapt to restricted resources? Or did it point to ancient Australopithecines, implying their departure from Africa? While disagreements continue, the discovery of other small-brained hominins, such as Homo naledi and Homo luzonensis, has heralded a new age in paleoanthropology, exposing the rich history of human evolution. We see a complex web of coexisting species rather than a tidy linear path. The quest to learn more about Homo floresiensis continues, and additional fossil discoveries are required to provide further light. Number 2. Fired Mummies An intriguing story emerges in the depths of the Philippines' Cabayan Caverns. These are the secrets of fire mummies, a distinct kind of ancient preservation from Egypt's well-known mummification. These fire mummies were created through a sophisticated process of dehydration and smoking, shedding insight into the Ebaloi tribe's enigmatic practices. These well-preserved remains, discovered in Kabayan, Benge province, provide a rare peek into an ancient period. They were known as the Kabayan or Ebaloi mummies, and were buried in caverns such as Timbak, Bangao, and Optas. The Ibaloi people used smoking mummification between 1200 and 1500 AD, while other ideas believe it may have been practiced even earlier. This practice slipped into history as Spain colonized the Philippines, leaving only these cryptic vestiges. The meticulous process began before death, when the subject drank a highly concentrated saltwater beverage, causing the body to dehydrate. The body was meticulously processed after death. It was washed before being suspended above smoldering kindling above a mild heat source. To facilitate the internal drying process, tobacco smoke was gently breathed into the deceased's lips. Herbs were later used to finish the ceremony, keeping the body dry. These mummies are still preserved in the caverns where they were unearthed, a testament to an era of unique customs. Monument Watch named them one of the world's hundred most endangered sites, and they are being sought for UNESCO World Heritage Site Classification. Number 1. The Terracotta Army In 1974, a group of farmers set out to dig a well in Xi'an, China, unsuspecting that they were about to find one of history's most astounding treasures. The ringing of a spade on something hard rang out as they dug, sending shivers down their spines. Each scoop uncovered an antique clay statue, a sentinel from another period. 
This unexpected discovery would eventually lead to the discovery of a spectacular secret lying beneath the soil, the Terracotta Army. These meticulously sculpted clay soldiers stand as guardians of Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi's afterlife, a memorial to his legacy. The mystery, however, does not end there. These subterranean warriors, which are buried in three distinct trenches, number in the thousands, with estimations surpassing 8,000 statues. This underground army includes soldiers, officers, horses, and chariots. They form a line, their uniforms unique, their horses harnessed, and chariots outfitted for a fight, some even with sun-shielding umbrellas. The legend of these guardians began with Qin Shi Huangdi, who succeeded to the throne at the age of 13 in 246 BC. He unified China over 25 years, becoming its first emperor, and his dynasty lasted for generations, retaining his empire's borders. Some estimate that it took approximately 700,000 craftsmen and laborers to build this massive army, and their toil ended only when the emperor died in 210 BC. Many people believe that these once invaluable workers died when their services became obsolete. Uncovering the Terracotta Army's secrets has required a voyage through time, supported by advanced technology. Non-invasive procedures have peeled back the layers of history, revealing the precise structure of the clay army. The use of clay materials originating from lowest deposits in northwest China tells the story of skillful craftspeople. Recent research has also discovered markings that identify the workshops responsible for creating these marvels, Gung and Xianyang. While the warriors are made of terracotta, their bronze swords are still intact and remarkably well-preserved. The employment of an anti-rust chemical to safeguard the bronze raised concerns. It seems that a chromium-rich lacquer coated the clay warriors, which gradually leached into the soil and reached the bronze. However, the soil's alkaline pH and microscopic particle size are believed to have had a key role in the preservation of these amazing weapons. The Terracotta Army, a UNESCO World Heritage Monument since 1987, stands today as a tribute to an emperor's afterlife protection as well as a testament to human inventiveness. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.